This is a region with enormous potential. It's a time where we must plan for the future. There are a lot of powerful women that have a lot to say for themselves. After so much conflict in the region, people want peace, they want stability, they want opportunity. It is the spirit of this country which captivates our minds. Across the region, youth unemployment has been a big problem. Small and medium-sized enterprises can be really helpful in creating jobs for younger people particularly. We have something much, much deeper taking place, which is the questioning of the whole structure of the Middle East. Today we move from access to knowledge to the management of knowledge. Technology pushes the frontier of how to use and tap the resources in the economy to solve the employment problem going forward. We need more role models around the technology space to have people to emulate. There is global best practice around employment, around infrastructure that can be applied to the problems and challenges that people have here. We are working closely with our private sector to come up with a, a clear vision accessing new markets as well as alternative transportation routes. Public-private partnerships are our building blocks. Today, Jordan's Gateway has become a conduit for innovation. We believe entrepreneurs build cities, they build companies, they create jobs. How can we work with them and around them to make sure that they are successful? Governments, universities, the media, the public and private sector can collaborate together to solve the issue of youth unemployment. The youth are moving from being job seekers to job creators. We need to put more youth in touch with decision makers. In infrastructure, there is a 100 billion gap every year between the amount of money we should be spending and the amount of money we are spending. There's a challenge that comes with $60 a barrel oil. The need for financing to come in from outside the region and support infrastructure is more a part of the commentary. I think we have to shift our thinking on refugees and don't see it as a threat to employment, but see them as a new pool of talent upon which people can build. We identify brilliant young kids, primarily girls, and we take them all the way through this curriculum that we've created. We then give them full scholarships to leading universities around the world. We need women to be in senior positions in media and can reshape the whole structure of society when media is used as a support to women. We would like to see the men talk more about gender parity. We as women don't have to convince ourselves. It is the men that need to talk with us on these issues. If you take the voices of the 1.5 billion Muslims in the world, they will drown out all of the social media of ISIL in a day. Foreign governments need to look at how public-private partnership, the new paradigm model for development for the Middle East, needs to be sustained. This forum is about grasping these opportunities by creating a framework for prosperity and peace.